the dean greeted the women in the first year class uh, with an invitation to dinner at his home. And we thought, oh, how thoughtful. The dean brought us into his living room and called on each of us to tell him in turn why we were at the Harvard Law School occupying a seat that could be held by a man. You felt in class as if all eyes were on you and that if you didn't perform well, you would be failing not only for yourself but for all women. And I attribute part of my success in law school to my daughter. She was 14 months old when I started. I mean, every day at 4 o'clock, my time at the law school was over and it was children's time. Each was a respite from the other. When my daughter went to sleep, I was happy to go back to the books. Employers were above board, open about it. They would say, we had a woman lawyer once and was she dreadful. Our strategy was the soul of simplicity. It was to go after the stereotypes that were written into law. Like, the first case I argued here was Frontiero v. Richardson. She is a lieutenant in the Air Force. She gets no housing allowance for being a married officer, and her husband doesn't have access to the base medical and dental facilities. It was an afternoon argument. I didn't eat lunch because I was afraid I wouldn't retain it. When I got to the podium, I was at first terribly nervous and then looked up at the justices and thought to myself, these are the most important judges in the United States and they have to listen to me. They have no place to go. Sex, like race, has been made the basis for unjustified or at least unproved assumptions concerning an individual's potential to perform or to contribute to society. These distinctions have a common effect. They help keep woman in her place, a place inferior to that occupied by men in our society. My dear husband, Marty, left his very successful practice in New York to Washington, D.C., so that we would have our life together here. He was a remarkable man. He was so comfortable about himself that he never regarded me as being any kind of a threat. He was also a fabulous cook. I was on cloud nine. People asked me what it felt like coming out to the Rose Garden with the president. And the first thing that came into my head, well, it felt a little bit like being a bride. Over the course of a lifetime, in her pioneering work in behalf of the women of this country, she has compiled a truly historic record of achievement. Well, it is a picture now. It's some difference. People certainly know that women are present on the court. And we are all over the bench and we are certainly here to stay. <laughs>